sir, we promised you a great day. Gorgeous journey. Ready, Classy, the maker of Tampa. Andre, the child. Russell Mania. Hulkamania is running wild. Yes. Hulk Hogan, we are for you, man. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God, what a ride. This is Mania. We welcome you to WEDF United. This is Frank Dog here, going alongside Wally. Hey guys, it's Wally here, and wow, making out to the ring is suspect. More serious side of suspect, the, the current intercontinental. Why is he wearing damage gear? gear? I have no clue. I guess he want maybe to mock the failure that was damage gate. It didn't work out for him, and now he's just more successful without it. Well, maybe it might be the message to the Platinum Feud on DPO. Oh yeah, those guys. Uh, well, hopefully, uh, we'll get it to the revenge. To be the one to attack the fisherman and had a decisive They were involved in the DPO Championship match. Well, as you can see, he suspect the Intercontinental Champion who successfully defeated them last time on Raw. Even though with the help of Foley. And challenging RVD tonight. Mad Icon! Yep. Mad Icon and oh, the Jack! <laughs> what, what the hell? hell? What the hell? Suspect got another tire around his huge ego, and they got excited. This is horrible. Get the medics out here. Suspect can't compete in this match. No way can Suspect complete his Intercontinental title match against RVD. He fucking will. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm back. he will. How you doing, everybody? We're back, motherfuckers. Platinum Age represent this shit. I want to say I know I've been nice job. Oh, yeah. Nice job screwing over CJ Wizard up there. Nice job being nice the job screwing over. Excuse me, screwing him over. He does not deserve to be holding the Diesel no. Championship. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's why I'm the rightful holder. That's why. I'm the champion, that's why Platinum Mage is great, and that's why Suspect is fixing to lose his championship here tonight to that man right there, Rob Van Dam. Alright. I just want to take this time to say that I know I've been gone for a while. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I've been busy, I've been making some decisions, and I did what I had to do. I'm not ashamed of what I did. So, I'm not going to yell at anybody, but, you know, I did what I had to do. And as you can see, everything is going pretty well for me. So, yeah. We got the Intercontinental Championship yeah, match yeah. right now. Don't, don't even worry about it, man. Don't even worry about it. Look, Suspect is going to lose here tonight. And with the Platinum Age on your side, you can't go wrong, man. Brigade for life. You know, represent Meow Meow. I mean, you've looked at, I mean, just look at the last two episodes of DCO. Who was it that decided those champions? It was me. I, I mean... I, I feel well, I feel a little bad for CJ Wizard because he had to be a pawn in the whole situation. You know, who thought he was going to be a DCO champion for a long time, but you know, it wasn't my dis I mean, my decision was for him to not continue to win, and so that's just what happened. Excuse me for a second, though. Why did you attack Rick the Fisherman and call him a spy of the Royal Reckoning? That really, Rick the Fisherman re representing DCO, not us. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? It's oh, common sense. Let me think about it. We're better than Rick the Fisherman. We're the best damn things on DCO. Pick us over him. We deserve the spotlight more than will, that loser does. I will say, at least it wasn't Kalen Rogers who was trying to represent DCO. But yeah, Rick the Fisherman was just not a good choice. We knew he didn't stand a chance, so we were gonna we were gonna make his job a little easier. We were gonna make the decision for him. I mean, I told you, we are not the decision makers in DCO. Everything that happens in DCO happens through us. That's right, oh, well, baby. Arthur was Zoltar. Would you have messed with him? 
Absolutely. RVD. Oh, RVD crucifix pin. We got a match here. Yep. Final match one. one two. two. The suspects have enough after that beatdown from you guys. Hopefully, I don't suspect think has suspect has suffered enough. And RVD, I hope RVD just lays it into him here tonight. <laughs> Look, I will say as much as as much as I've done to to suspect in the last you know couple weeks, I don't hate the guy. He just made the wrong decision. I came to him and I said, "Let's try to make this a little more serious. Let's try to use, let's let's do a little bit more to win these matches." And he said he wanted to keep it a joke, so. I beat this. I beat the joke out of him, and now, as you can see, it worked. It's oh, hard. Oh, 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 oh. On a kick. RBD just busted him open. I think RBD's right. done. One, two, three, four. That's right, Ross, RBD. Come RBD on, baby. There. Keep playing into him. I mean, Don't work on him. Account. A moonsault. <laughs> Oh, he, he automatically wins! He automatically wins! He did a moonsault. It's Let's a rope. Covering that one, two, and added to the RVD. Suspect once again kicking he out. He's similar to you guys. That's absolutely correct. We do have something in common with RVD, and that is that uh, we just don't care anymore. Suspect's fighting back, though. We really don't. I mean... Oh, it's fine, Buster. I mean, it's... I mean, if Suspect retains here, good for him. If not, good for us. We don't care. We made our point known. Lieutenant Press. Suspect is continuing to fight back. I gotta say, I'm, a little, I'm impressed by his, his, his will to fight. Even after uh, our vicious attack, I mean... Oh, I mean, that, that RBD, vicious... RVD, RVD tried to move out of the way, but got hit anyway. I thought, I thought RVD was doing a good job of, of being aware of the ring, and then Suspect somehow found his target. And another, I mean, like, springboard splash. Running knee drop right there, and uh, I gotta say, Matt, we didn't, we didn't even go full power on Suspect. We, we could have... Left him broken there. We could have hit him with the Unhawaiian Nightmare, the FTS. We could have laid him out with the Cobra Clutch. We could have done all of this shit, and he, he couldn't even move. We could have done that, but we decided not to do it. Why? Because, well, if I wanted to why end do it? him, if I wanted to end him for good, I would have. But that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to send a message to him. And to the whole entire WEDF that the Platinum Mage is here and we are going to take over. That's right. Just because we're on DCO doesn't mean that we won't come to United or, you know, and, I mean, that doesn't limit us to what our plan is. Right. Oh, no one is here. Them. Suspect, I'm, I'm, I'm actually shot right there. <laughs> All right. Can we be seeing the ring and don't work? And he can it is. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh man, he got it. How Wait a minute, RVD. And and damn. RVD playing the possum, man. Very nice shot. Shot. So so that, that, that might have hit that million dollar Larry on full force to that beatdown. He busted open too. So all your fault that had the made for this shit. What did we do? Okay, this isn't oh, our come fault. On now. RVD just used the chair. I like, I like that decision to use the chair. You attack, attacked him behind his back. You, you guys don't have the guts to face him eye to eye. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. I face suspect eye to eye on multiple occasions. Okay. You are champion. One, two. No. Oh. So I have faced him eye to eye on multiple occasions. You know what? Suspect has never beat me. Okay? So, Mr. Wally, why don't you go back, go watch the most DL. I know you're a big OCL fan. Go do the history and watch the game. Three, no champion. One, two, two three. And oh. To do it, and a shot to the head. I gotta say, I'm, I'm, I like RVD as Intercontinental Champion. I like it a lot. 
suspect three day rain over. I think that's probably in the record books is the shortest rain ever now. Actually Spokey had that uh one at uh, the length. Right. Yeah, like thirty second rain or something and Brett Michaels No, that was pretty yeah, that was pretty US title, but still. It counts. R D is the new Intercontinental Champion in controversial way though. Controversial? What was controversial about it? We attacked him before the match, not during the match. Chill out. RVD won fair and square. Controversial. Really? Controversial. That's why he's the yes. champion. Controversial. Fair and square. Yes. You beat him in the ring. One, two, three. Yeah, no okay. question asked. I gotta say this commercial we're watching right now is a very important commercial. Oh my god. It lasts. <laughs> My boy gets his own show. Look at how things have turned out since I ended Damage Gauge. I mean, I get my own reality show. Oh! Oh, here comes... We're back on United, and we're about to have... A Money in the Bank qualifying match for Raw. Ric Flair is a, a legend easily. And he... Does he have it in him to... To qualify for this very important Money in the Bank ladder match. He says he has one more run left in him again. Can he um, capture lucky number 17? Number 4 suspect gets his number 6. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but anyways. But Flyer became the <laughs> champion, although that's nothing to sneeze about. Yep, he lost that belt on Raw last year. Uh, last time to Hardcore Holly assaulting him on the ramp. Yep, that's very correct. Well, Ric Flair set to face CM Punk. I gotta say that Ric Flair, you know that that man can command respect when the ring announcer helps him into the ring. That's impressive. <laughs> no he, doubt about it. Here's CM Punk. It just means he's old. <laughs> straight. Look, people put me in the ring not because I'm fat, it's because I command respect. That's because you are fat. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Look Remember, suspect. <laughs> you see him punch the suspect the called you the fat guy that. T it, you think you turned on suspect because suspect gave that little remark to you that say you you're just the fat guy that tags along. Pretty sure you took offense to that, right? You, you know that was part of it. Those kind of comments can hurt when they when they come from a from somebody who's supposed to be your friend. But, true. you know, we're right now we've got CM Punk taking on Ric Flair. Two very different competitors in the ring. I, I can tell you who's fat, though. Big Daddy V. Yeah, he's fat! Ric Flair holding it against CM Punk right here. I'm surprised CM top. Punk is usually on his A-game. CM Punk? Chest already beat red from those hard chops, knife head chops from Ric Flair. Flair is known and feared for some of those chops. Even though the man is like in his 60s, he still delivers some of the most vicious chops you'll ever see in the wrestling business. CM Punk and Ric Flair were both partners one time against the New Breed. Ah, uh, the New Breed. <laughs> they. They'll be facing um, the Hart Dynasty, is that right? At, at, at WrestleMania? That's correct. And CM Punk with a clothesline. <laughs> CM Punk. Hart Dynasty. Definitely one of the up and coming tag teams now. Hart Dynasty. Just... Well, Hart Dynasty definitely have a lot to prove, as um, Wally was going to say, but. Back oh, to that strut. Well, there's the flare strut. You know, I actually do the flare strut sometimes in honor of the nature boy. Dirtiest player in the game. You think he'll be up to his dirty tactics to try to get a victory here? Definitely. Of course, he'll stick to what he knows. Can he make CM Punk tap this early in the match? And he cannot. 